He was briefly in the background, but not for long. George Alexander Louis, Prince of Cambridge and third in line to the throne, is now three months old and clearly growing fast. There was a little help from his father with the royal wave. But as he arrived for his christening, it was apparent that there is now another royal the cameras will love. This was the start of what will be a very public life. It was, in fact, a very private service. The Queen and Prince Philip were driven into St James's Palace, the briefest glimpse of royalty for people who'd gathered outside, a few camping overnight. <laughs> the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh headed a small royal contingent with Charles and Camilla and Prince Harry. Low key was the order of the day. This christening is another sign of the way things are changing within the royal family. William and Kate are quite happy to break with tradition and to do things their way. There were just 22 guests for a service conducted by the Archbishop of Canterbury and the Bishop of London. Of the seven godparents, only one was from the royal family, Princess Anne's daughter Zara, herself expecting a baby. She was with her husband, Mike Tyndall. Others included Julia Samuel, a friend of Diana, Princess of Wales, and friends of William and Kate's from school and university. Kate's immediate family were there, Mother Carol and Sister Pippa, clearly enjoying the relaxed atmosphere. Prince George, of course, is blissfully unaware of the relentless attention from which his parents hope to shield him. Christening over, it was time for tea. Tim Hewitt, ITV News at St James's Palace.